So you've got a business and you've heard you can add it to Google for free. You've heard that you can get it to show up in Google Maps and you've heard it might be called Google My Business. But you just want to know how do I do it? What's the safest way to add my business onto Google My Business? Well, that's what we're going to look at today in today's video. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design, and I'm a web designer that's helped businesses grow on the internet over the last 20 odd years. And Google My Business is a fantastic way of getting new clients and local traffic to find your business. It puts you almost on an equal level with the larger businesses, the corporate businesses as well, on a local basis. So if you've heard from someone that you should put your business on Google Maps, and you can use Google My Business, that's the name of it, to add it onto maps and you will get new clients and it's for free. But some may say there's just a bit of a word of caution that if you've already added your business in the past and then you go to add it again, having two uh, additions or two locations of the same business can cause your business to get suspended. So what we're going to look at today is an easy way to find out whether or not you've already added your business beforehand, how you can deal with it if it's already been added for you, and also how you can check to see whether or not it needs verifying. And then finally at the end, I've got a couple of other questions that a customer of mine's just asked, and I tagged on to the end of this video, so that if you've asked these questions as well, then you'll have them answered. And of course, if you have any questions, then put them below in the comments below, and make sure you subscribe so that then, if there's an update to this video, or if I decide to make a new video, I may well use your question on my next video. So let's jump straight in and answer the question, how can you find out whether you've already registered on Google My Business? There are three ways in which you can check to see if your business has already been registered or needs to be verified. The first one is to go to Google Maps. So go to Google Maps, and then all you need to do is just focus on the area where your business is. So I'm going to pretend that I'm, say, a, um, so I'm in Winton. I'm gonna go for Winton Tandoori, so let's see if I can find that. Winton Tandoori, let's have a look. So there's Winton Tandoori, which is a, a takeaway near me. And the fact that it's there on the map tells me that it's been registered, it has Google My Business already. So if that was your, say that was your restaurant, then the fact that it's on the map and then comes up, and if you click on it, the fact is you get this information here. So this is Google My Business, it's had reviews, uh, it shows it has uh, takeaways, it's all the information that's provided by Google My Business, and there it goes to show uh, exactly the fact it's on the map. So that tells me that Winton Tandoori has registered with Google My Business. So you need to check, go to a place where your business is, and then on the map, see on Google whether it shows up like this. If it does, then you can click on it and you'll see it's there. There's a second way. If you go to Google itself and just type your business name in. So let's try Winton Tandoori. And there you go. So once again, it shows here. This is called a knowledge panel. And the knowledge panel, again, is another way in which it shows the same information that's shown here on Maps. So the first way was through Google Maps. The second way was through Google Search. And the third way is through Google Verification Status. And I'll put the URL to how you can find this in the comments below. So I've selected this one, Harry Harry. Click Continue and it will tell you whether or not that's been verified. So in this case, it hasn't been verified. I've just been using that for training purposes. But that's really as simple as that. If you've got any businesses and you're not sure, then just log in with your Gmail account that you would have registered it with, and you can tell, tells you whether or not it's verified. If you want to see what it looks like if it is verified, then I'll show you this one. So in this case, my business is verified, and it says there, verification status verified. So that's how you can tell whether or not your business has already been verified or not. It's important to get that right. So let's now answer those questions from William Fargs. His first question is this. Let's say there is a store in my town which is not on Google Maps and it's not mine. As a total stranger, can I add this store on Google Maps? So the answer to that is yes and no. You can add a business onto Google Maps, but it won't officially sit there with all the information and it doesn't get owned immediately by the owner. But 
Google does allow a certain amount of addition from its guides. So there's Google guides or local guides, and they're given a certain responsibility of just putting new information about new shops, new businesses, and at the opening hours, ability to allow for, say, disabled car parks and entrances. The more that the, the information is collected and continues to relate to what other local guys are saying about that business, the more Google then allows that information about that business. So the answer is yes, it can be done. Uh, you don't need to be the owner to have a business added to Google Maps. His second question is, let's say that I set a wrong address. Can I modify it like this place is now mine or just suggest a modification since I can't claim it? So the thing is, is every address has to be a real address. And the way that Google basically makes sure that's the case is they verify that address with the, with the business owner. So you'd have to make sure that that address was able to receive a postcard with a verification number. And then with that verification number, the business then could be authenticated by Google. So hopefully that answers your question that you can't just add any random address to a business without it being where it says on the map and without you receiving a postcard. So even PO boxes don't work. You have to have an, a, an official address. And if Google thinks for one moment that that address doesn't exist or that it's fishy about anything at all, then Google often do a soft suspension on a business immediately. And often you get a soft suspension and people wonder why. Well, it's uh, often because of this misunderstanding about the importance of having the address with Google right from the start and it being then verified. So his final question is, when someone suggests a modification about a place, do you know how Google makes sure that the modified information is correct? So if you're the business owner and you modify it, then sometimes it can take two to three days before it then is given the go ahead and it's given the green light and it's accepted. And there are often on these occasions, there are manual checks that take place by Google staff there can also be manual checks by local guys that have given some authority. So the answer is, is yes, these things do get checked on a manual basis. Having said that, there are some things that are automated as well. And sometimes it can be down to not just what you've asked for the changes, but Google will then spider perhaps citations to see whether it agrees with what you're saying. So there's a combination there. Obviously, it's a bit of a secret. Google doesn't reveal everything. But you can guarantee that if your information is correct and Google can authenticate it by one means or another, then normally that's then approved. Normally it takes less than 24 hours on very small things. On larger things, sometimes it could require even a phone call from Google if they wanted to clarify something with you. But the more information you provide, the more likely Google will authenticate something. So if we go back to our example, so in line with that question just asked, a couple of things here. Just notice that if you own this business and it's just been a case of people have entered it and local guides have entered it, which clearly they haven't because there's a lot of detail on this. But if this was your business, you can click on own this business. So I'll do that. And this tells me that it's already been claimed. So just again, that's uh, to answer that question that if it has been claimed, you can't then make those changes. But if there was something on there that you felt needed to be changed, it wasn't correct, you can also suggest an edit. And this is then about changing perhaps the hours or the place. And again, this is just a case of local guides can make this these changes. They don't get uh, they don't go live straight away. But one of the reasons why if you have a business, you should always check to make sure that nothing is being changed that isn't correct. But that's just another way in which uh, local guides can add extra information to a business. So hopefully that, that answers those questions then about modifying a place on Google Maps. And hopefully if you haven't done so already, then at the end of this video, you'll then be able to enjoy just finding out a bit more about what you can do with Google because I've got a great video that's called Google My Business for Dummies. And of course, all of us had to start somewhere. So none of us are dummies really, but it's just again in plain English to help you know what you can do with Google My Business once you've registered it. So follow this video now and you'll find it really will help you to get off on a really good start if you're registering your business for the first time.